Hey everyone, I want to show you something pretty interesting that I found during our boat ride the other day. It's the Sango Lock, and it was created to connect the Cumberland and Oxford canals together. Now this was actually a revolutionary transportation system during the early 19th century. Now it was also created to transport timber from inland Maine down to the coastal sawmills and shipping port. Maine was part of a nationwide boom in canal building following the War of 1812. So here's how it works. Boats traveling downstream first have to wait for a bridge tender to stop all traffic crossing over the Sango Lock Swing Bridge. Then a long wrench type device is used to manually turn the causeway by about 90 degrees. Vessels can now slowly cruise towards the large wooden gates that lead into the Sango Lock. The lock operator will direct folks to a holding location inside this rectangular chamber, where about six boats can fit smoothly. Next, the operator will physically move this push beam to shut the gate and keep water out. Remember, this was built back in 1830, so nothing is automated, just pure strength and muscle here. A pulley weight system is then used to control an underground tunnel sleuth. That slides open a gate to drain the water from Longo Lake to the Sango River. Think of this part as an elevator lowering the boats by about five feet. When the water levels match on each side of the lower gate, the operator moves this push beam once again to open the exit so boaters can continue on with their journey. The whole process takes around 10 minutes and on average about 3,800 boats pass through the Sango Lock each season. This is only one of a few that are still hand-operated in America.